Wolf of Body Magic. I'm a body painter and um, body painting is my passion and profession. Well, how did I get into body painting? It was actually um, it's more chance than anything. I was doing a lot of uh, tattoo flash, I was doing a lot of body art and just ended up doing body painting and mostly black lines and then somebody introduced me to hey um, can you paint my balcony with your crazy patterns and he gave me a bunch of black light paints and the next weekend I had a um, show in, in Stuttgart in Germany for young artists and I went to buy body paint for that and I found black light body paint and I figured hey I need to show this to my body so I bought a bunch went to that art show and lo and behold they had a black light over the bar so i did my first black light body painting there and i just knew that's my thing and i ended up doing black light body painting on events and parties every weekend basically from 99 to 2005. it's like one anecdote in our house is that when I was very little, my mom tried to punish me with one thing and she, was, she didn't want me to draw and she excluded it because I always allowed to draw on my walls in my room and she, so she tried to come up with a list of things I was not allowed to draw on to punish me and then she found me doing an elaborate piece on my bed sheets because she had not included the bed sheets on the list of things I'm not allowed to draw on and she figured from that on, okay, she's not going to curb my drawing in any way. How would you describe your style? Make it up as I go. Um, I like lines. I always like lines. I like to have lines on the body. I like to work with the lines of the body. It's my biggest pet peeve when when art, body paint artists disregard the lines of the body. So I, I like strong contrasts. I'm not so much one for, you know, two roses or um, not so much il illustrative things. I, yeah, I think I like mostly patterns patterns and lines. Using the lines of the body, if they work with, you know, with the anatomy of the model, if they work with what the model have, if they work with the lines on the body, if they pay attention to, to that, that is what really gets me off in other people's work, you know, where you see someone with a really nicely well-balanced well paint. Okay. Andre, Andre Pistole. I forgive the newbie right. question, but what, what are the lines of the body? Well, we're talking about things like here, like for instance, um, you know, there's a connection that's going from here, you know, all the way down to the knee, you know, and if you, not every line needs, needs to go somewhere, but every line should have a destination, you know, while you work with it, especially on the body, and, you know, if, if certain lines are just crossed or, or disregarded, you get end up with a wonky painting and that is really something that well, I'm like like a horizontal line across the boobs for instance that's never gonna look good well I always was with the lines and huge contrasts and, and patterns that was always a thing and after I think the first time that clicked with me that there could be something with body paint seeing Grace Jones painted by Keith Haring and Keith Haring was already someone which triggered me like okay if that guy can be famous with that then Maybe my art, the stuff that I doodle here around is more than just like waste of paper. Yeah, but I think if we talk about influence, art influence, people who are like really stuff that comes down, you find in my body painting. I think Sorayama is definitely an influence in his airbrush art. Um, anybody who really works well with the body is like Jerry Mugler. Fantastic stuff just mind-blowing. I think one of the big appeals that it is to me is like, okay, you have to be done today. There's no tomorrow in body painting. You can't just go like, all right, I'll finish this tomorrow. There's no tomorrow, it's today. A canvas can't talk to you, a canvas, where there's no much interaction with it. And since there's people bringing something and being, you know, being part of the transformation and bringing bringing the transformation and you know being able to provide someone with an experience and with yeah with a transformation an out of body experience and you see the energy you feel the energy change during the body paint and once they're finished that's priceless my first 
time out at a little party at a festival at an event that was doing body painting in a little space like this, which was actually a chill out area. And it had like loads of people in here and I had just this corner and it was painting. And I completely zoned out in the painting, didn't really think about the people. And then I was finished and I stepped back and you go like, yeah, 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 I'm finished. Yeah, this is cool. And something in the atmosphere of the room changed. There was like noise and I was like, made me look around because there was such, you know, and of course there was music, but all of a sudden, you know, and then realized there's massive people, everybody standing shoulder to shoulder, watching me work and they're giving me applause. And that was something where like, okay, that is never gonna happen while you paint in your, at home, that, is, that kind of instant validation as an artist, <laughs> you can't beat that. What kind of advice would you give to people who want to get into it? Like they see your art or, or someone else's art, they think, I wanna do that. Where Work out of the shoulder. Don't rest, don't rest your wrist. Okay, because if you rest your wrist, or even if you sometimes, yes, you need to rest on the body or something, but in general for body painting, don't work, or as an art in general, don't work out of the wrist, because you can only do that much, you know? And if you work out of the shoulder, you have so much more freedom doing body painting, and be courageous, use more water than you think that you actually need. Body painting is fluid control. How much water you have in your paint, how much water you have in your brush, and only how much paint you have in your brush is transferred onto the body, you know. And I know it's very popular to work very dry right now, but I think a lot of paints actually are, you know, if you want to do lines like me, you have to add water, otherwise it's not going to work. And how do you get into the scene? Nowadays, just start painting, put stuff on Facebook or whatever, join the groups, you know, go to body paint meetups. There's there's always something going on. If you right now, if you Google Body Paint Festival, you will find things going on all over the world or in your neighborhood or workshops. Reach out. There's enough groups. Yeah, right now it's pretty easy. Find people you're com comfortable to work with, and then ask them to get painted. Get painted yourself if you can, maybe, so you know what's going on. Hone your people skills. For me, it's really hard to understand sometimes how uptight people are about it because they're not used to the fact that there's other reasons to be nude than just sex. You know, nudity by itself is just, I don't really get the big deal. Yeah, I also don't understand the thing about, you know, editing out nipples or, or gluing the nipples down or whatever, especially not when the reason is given because of the children, because come on, it's not because of the children. It's because about people who can't disengage their sexuality and they don't understand what's going on. What's the first thing a kid gets to know in this world? Huh? Okay, it's a nipple. So don't talk to me about the kids and the nipples. They're fine. The kids are fine. It's the uptight adults who have a problem. Very often we had people who came in who were super shy in the beginning, like, like never done anything like that before. And later on being just, you know, walk about between a group of people and photographers and everything, like it's, the normalest thing ever, not even because since you have the paint on, you can feel the paint. So since the models don't feel nude anymore, you know, the whole atmosphere changes significantly. Yes, you start out in the nude, but that is gone pretty quickly. So I really don't understand this whole thing about like, oh, it's nude people. And I think this has more to do with how uncomfortable people in general are in their own bodies and how things are because like oh you need to be a supermodel to get body painted no you just need to take your shirt off have a good rapport with a painter it's more I don't think it's a problem of nudity I think it's a problem with body consciousness and image and I think that's more of a society problem at large and not something that has to do with body paint things I want to achieve in the next five years yes I would really like to have a little gallery space for Wolf Body Magic in London and having my body art in the gallery where people can buy it. We're gonna make a real big mess right now because we're out of time and I need to get something done quickly. You know, you'll see it in a minute. You can do really great stuff with just being making a big mess. 
start out being creative, it, just start painting. And if you want to get better, you can always take lessons. Watch Bob Ross, sounds stupid, but you can learn a lot about body painting watching Bob Ross. You know, if you want to get into it, just start it, buy some, buy, buy some regular body paints, don't cheap out, you know, buy some good paints if you want to play on people and then just play with people. And I don't care about it because in the end, it's going to go down the drain. You know, so stop caring about it, just have fun, wash it off, start again. So when you have model, photographer, location, body painting and maybe even music come together and then you have this whole thing being one thing, you know, that's just, yeah, that's what makes body painting really cool. You know, sometimes you search, you end up spending 16 hours, 36 hours all together, you know, everybody's time and then you find that one shot and that just makes it all, all worthwhile.